Good morning everyone, I am Utkash Garg, I am the campaign coordinator for PETA India and today we are in Goa where uh, three of our volunteers are dressed, in, uh, dressed as Grim Reapers who are dragging leather boots, leather shoes, leather bags with them and they hold a scythe that says uh, that leather is dead. By this action we want, to, uh, we want to make the people of Goa as well as the entire world in India aware that leather is a dead body. Leather is uh, leather is a leather was previously a living, breathing, feeling, inquisitive, soulful animal who was murdered, tortured their entire lives and killed just so we can have a purse on our hands, just so we can use it as a belt, as a jacket, you know. And we want to urge the people of Goa to become more compassionate, to sort of feel compassion towards all of these living beings who are being killed for leather and stop the usage of leather. You know, we want to end the trend of leather. We want to urge people to shift to vegan alternatives of leather. There are a lot of other brands who offer vegan alternatives of leather. There are there are brands who offer a plant-based leather, leather made out of cactus, leather ma made out of mango peel, etc. We want to urge people to shift to that rather than uh, you know rather than uh, eating uh, or sort of tormenting animals their entire lives and then killing them just for uh, ju just for a bag or a shoe or a jacket. That shouldn't be the case. Uh, th this is uh, this is this might seem as a horrific scene to you, but uh, the life of animals who are lost to leather is more horrific than anything else in the world. They are almost alive when their body, when their skin is skinned out of their body. They they feel they are gutted. Uh, if you see multiple videos that are there on our pages, you can go head over to petaindia.org. You can see multiple uh, investigations that we have done. In, in leather tanneries, in places uh, where leather uh, is sourced from, where calves and cows are killed in hundreds and hundreds of numbers every single day. And we want that to end. We want to uh, explain to the people here in, ahead of Halloween that uh, leather as a, as, a, as a thing that is being uh, born out of torturous uh, things that is being done to animals across the world. Uh, leather comes from that. Leather is basically a dead animal. So we are, these are grim reapers who are considered to be dead or the bringers of death, harbingers of death in, uh, in the western world. These, uh, uh, these uh, grim reapers are bringing death to the leather. They are asking people to end the trend of leather and they are also explaining to the people that leather is nothing but a dead body of an animal. Leather is nothing if not a torturous process uh, and a torturous product out of skin of alive animals. Uh, cows, calves, other animals who are killed for leather are generally tortured their entire lives. They are kept in small cages. Sometimes even kids are butchered just to just to take the leather off of their bodies. And we want to urge the people of Goa and, and from here, the entire uh, India and the world, to end leather practice, to stop using leather. And uh, we want to urge the governments and the other bodies to sort of ban leather. Because leather is an atrocious amount of torture that is being put to, uh, towards the animals and we want that to end. So PETA India is doing this ahead of Halloween just to give uh, Goans this message. Okay, you previously also had such a event. Yeah, we did. So just this year uh, on 7th of March ahead of Women's Day, uh, right here we had uh, uh, six, eight of our volunteers who caged themselves in battery cages. Battery cages are the cages that are uh, that hens are kept inside. So we they cage themselves, women volunteers, to to show their support to the chickens uh, who are there in the poultry farms, who are there in the butcher shops, to show support to them because Women's Day or, or doesn't really work if other species females are getting tortured.
any support from the government we are urging the people to urge the government we have been doing urging the governments for 23 years to ban ban exotic uh, leather trade ban leather trade of calves ban ban cow leather trade you will be astonished to know that a lot of leather is made out of calves who are small animals you know and uh, they 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 come from dairy industry the moment that a that a cow stops giving milk they are sent to a butcher place either they are they are exploited for meat or they are they are uh, skinned alive and their uh, skin is made out uh, their, their skin is used for making leather articles leather products so we want to urge the government of course because government are the policy makers but we also want to urge the people once we as citizens stop using leather the companies would not produce leather you know for instance if i start taking initiative from myself and i start using vegan leather for instance or plant based leather or leather alternatives the companies would not have demand and so they would not have anywhere else to supply so we want to urge the citizens to take that change to make the compassionate choice and the government of course so where is the awareness here how long is it What? Okay. sir we we uh, this particular awareness will end today uh, but we have been doing such awarenesses from past 23 years peta india has been working in india for 23 years and we don't just uh, 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 make people aware about the leather uh, harm the harm of leather on animals we also make people aware about how a vegan diet uh, helps uh, animals as well as helps us and the environment a vegan diet is healthy for humans it, it reduces multiple health risks it reduces uh, the torment and the torture that the animals go through on a daily basis and above everything it gives us it gives us a compassionate eye to look towards the 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 torture the trauma that the animals go through because of human exploitation on every day peta india believes that speciesism the concept should end speciesism is a concept that makes human beings superior we decide who we can pet who we can kill who we can torture who we can you know use as a as a decorative material for instance fish fishes are used in aquariums fishes do not belong in aquariums cats are not killed dogs are not killed for food but a, a fish is but a chicken is why we have made that difference all the animals are the same a dog is a cat is same as the cat a cat is same as a chicken a chicken is same as a cow and a cow is similar as a human being as me as you we all feel pain we all have families we all want to uh, you know survive in this world live a peaceful happy life so why deny them their right to exist in the world Have you done any collaboration with any organization to create more awareness? Yeah, definitely. We have been collaborating with multiple, uh, multiple organizations. Even today, we have uh, PFA volunteers, which is People for Animals volunteers here. We have uh, Goa Liberation March volunteers here, who have been working in Goa to end animal suffering as much as they can. But any organization is not successful without the support of its citizens. Uh, any organization cannot push for uh, push for policy change for laws to change for 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 the environment for the for the atmosphere to be better for animals without the support of citizens and that is why we roam around the entire india asking for the support of people asking uh, the people to help us help animals and in turn we are helping ourselves today the exploitation has reached to a level that we are uh, by our uh, by us killing all these animals we have contributed to the climate catastrophe to a level where we are almost about to go extinct in a while in covid you must have noticed we were inside for maybe a year give or take and the atmosphere became so much better you know we stopped eating animals for a while and the atmosphere became so much better the atmosphere became uh, more conducive that my uh, the atmosphere the environment was better so we want to urge you all to 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 also uh, you know we want to urge to all the compassionate citizens outside to to stop all kinds of torture towards animals to stop end the animal exploitation in itself and that is our message
ऑनिमल्सनी हस्बेंड Uh, there is uh, there is madhuri dikshit who has adopted an animal there is dina penty there is pooja uh, there is uh, there is there are a lot of celebrities who have come forward there is jacqueline fernandez you know and uh, we recently gave uh, award of best vegetarian celebrities most beautiful vegetarian celebrities jacqueline fernandez and ritesh deshmukh they have been working with us for a while and they have also working been working in their own separate uh, you know personal space helping animals uh, and, and you know creating a safer beneficial more uh, more conclusive and compassionate uh, you know sort of space for them in the world so this camp and awareness you think there is change in our physical place of course there is of course we 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 wouldn't have all of these people with us if if such campaigns do not exist anything comes out of awareness once the people are aware they will be more entitled or more uh, more uh, inquisitive about what it means to if we talk about exploitation as i said to you uh, we get we see a, a fish getting cut on the side of the street almost every day right we see we see a chicken getting cut on the side of the street almost every day we don't even bat an eye we don't question why that is happening but if today there is a uh, there is a dog getting cut on the side of the street if somebody is cutting a dog and hanging them or a cat and hanging them we'll be enraged right so people do not understand uh, there is so much brainwashing being done by by the previous generations by all of the people who have come before us the brainwashing has made us to believe that these animals don't matter and these animals do these animals are pets uh, companion animals these animals are somebody that we will love and then these animals are somebody that will eat that will eat that shouldn't be the case so we want to bring the awareness to the people and rest it's obviously the people's choice and we want to make them understand how to make a better choice I have been part of PETA for more than a year now, and there are there are people who have been part of PETA since PETA got in India, and my experience has been amazing. There is nothing more fulfilling and more gratifying than helping animals, uh, and 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 I'm just we are all we at PETA, all of these volunteers, we are all just trying to do the same, and it has been one of the most fulfilling experiences. When you see an innocent animal being saved because of something that you do, uh, I think that is the best experience that we can have. And we, I thank all of you for coming here and sort of spreading our message to the people of Goa, so that uh, there is more awareness. Uh, uh, our voice and our our calls can reach out to more people. I think students are and the youth is the most inquisitive of all of uh, all of the gender uh, general uh, spectrum of population. And I want to address the youth by uh, asking them that. I, I think youth is already more aware about a lot of these things because, as you can see, a lot of these people are uh, are young. A lot of these people are old. We want to contribute to the society as youth, right? So I want to address the youth and ask them to show a more compassionate choice because the world is now ours to live, and with the way that we are going, the world would not be safe for us to live even. You know, the amount of violence. the amount of amount of torture that we are doing on animals as well as the environment which is a cause direct cause of us torturing animals we need to stop that so that the world is livable for us as future uh, generations to live and so i want to urge the youth to 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 make more compassionate choices go vegan uh, go leather free go go fur free stop using silk make compassionate choices on a daily basis if you see a kitten scared on the street help her help him if you see a dog who is being beaten up by somebody or who has been in an accident take 5 minutes of your life to to help them and all of these things we want to urge the youth to sort of make compassionate choices every single step of the way and i think we'll be in a better place no less than in a few years